Let's find the molarity of NaCl. This is sodium chloride. You might know it as table salt. So to find molarity, the formula for molarity is molarity. That equals moles over liters, like this. So we have our molarity. We need to know how many moles, how much of the solute or the substance we put in, and we need to know liters, how much we want to make. So let's just assume that we have one mole of NaCl, and we're going to put that in one liter. So what we'll do is we'll fill a volumetric flask up with some water, add our one mole of NaCl, and then bring the water up to the mark, up to the one liter mark. This gives us a one molar solution of NaCl. And you can be given different amounts in terms of moles and liters to start with. So you could say you want to make a 500 milliliter solution. So 500 milliliters divided by 1,000, that gives us 0 0.5 liters. We have to be in liters. And let's say we want to add 0 0.1 moles of NaCl. So again, we get a volumetric flask. In this case, it'd be a 500 milliliter volumetric flask. We put some water in. We put our 0 0.1 mole in, dissolve that, and fill it up to that 0 0.5 liter or that 500 milliliter mark. So our molarity here, 0 0.1 moles over 0 0.5, that equals a 0 0.2 molar solution of NaCl. The thing is, in the lab, we don't really measure things out in moles on the balance. We use grams. So quite often, you'll be asked, how many grams do you need to make this 0 0.2 molar solution, for example? In that case, we need to convert the moles to grams. So 0 0.1 mole. If we want to go to moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 55.44 in the units grams per mole. So now when we multiply, we have moles on top, and there on the bottom, we're going to be left with grams. That gives us 5.5, let's call it 5.54 grams of NaCl. So now, instead of moles, you have the grams. You put some water in your volumetric flask. You add the 5.54 grams, dissolve it, and then fill up to the mark there in your flask, and you'll have a 0 0.2 molar solution. So really, when we're looking at the molarity of NaCl, we need to know how many moles and how many liters we're working with if we want to figure out the molarity. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.